Hello, um, welcome to my tutorial on how to use the Unilexicon um, taxonomy editor. Um, I would like to show you its features and um, I'm going to create a basic taxonomy um, to show you how to, how to use these. Okay, so log in first. I already have an account, so I just log in. There, look at me. Okay, look at some of my libraries. There's some volumes. Let's look at this one. That's a fast, fast vocabulary. Here is one. Okay, let me get this vocabulary. We can get narrower and broader concepts of parents and children concepts. Let's start our own vocabulary. Start your vocabulary. Permalink, description, small vocabulary, values in life, in English, source. Maybe I'll add my website as a source. And there we have it. My values. I'm going to add some narrower concepts. The first three narrower concepts that I would like to add here are health, wealth, and love. Let's go for it. children concepts to the concept of wealth. So, I'd say three different kinds of wealth are some kind of wealth in resources or wealth in time. There. Now, we could keep expanding, or we can expand health. Let's have physical health. Concepts in love. Um, well, for the sake of this vocabulary, let's not go too far into, into there and show you some um, uh, features. So let's um, make a mistake. Say. 
let's try the body. switch view and we can order priorities we can look at the three nested list and we can see the stacks only as traps and drop downs there hmm. I think time is uh, should be on top here mental health perhaps comes even before physical health uh, Flexibility is also a great value. Right. Now our order is saved up automatically. Back to editing. Let's look at the tree of nested lists. Here we can see top three levels. Now we can look at this uh, stops and drop downs. Health. Health. Love. There we go. Back to editing. Our uh, new lexicon all supports export in three formats if we click on json we will see the source of javascript print object notation of this vocabulary there we have it now our id or permalink name description children concepts such as mental health physical health under health love wealth there we have it um, let's look at uh, the values a bit further and look at other export formats. There's SCOS or Simple Knowledge Organization Systems, um, XML export. If we click this, we'll get a file exported. There's our file values. Boom. And uh, one final kind of export, CSV format. Now we can look at the CSV um, in an editor of choice. So let's look at Finder, Finder and have a simple preview of the values. There we have it. Uh, title, column, definition, column, ID, column, and the tree shown. Uh, in our CSV file. Um, now, the SCOS export is really useful because uh, we can make some edits right in the XML file. Boom! There you have it. Um, let's remove the word small and put there XML. And uh, maybe I'm going to delete the concept of crypto. I'm not interested in that. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. I'm much more an AI person. There you go. Boom. Values. Let's delete this vocabulary. Yes, I want to delete it. Dismiss. And now we look uh, at importing our vocabulary. 
So we can either import it as SCOS, which is what we are going to do, but bef just before I'm going to show you the spreadsheet feature. Now, vocabulary can be also imported from the a CSV format. Uh, it, columns can contain IDs or a full tree. Here uh, we have example animals in Latin. Now let's go back and import our SCOS vocabulary. I'm going to choose the file from desktop. Um, there. Open. Upload. There is our deleted vocabulary. Import it. And we can see that this was edited in XML. So there. Um, you can all, always refer to the to the to the docs um, or the, to this video uh, to see the features of the vocabulary editor. Now I can have uh, multiple vocabularies under my profile. Here's all different vocabularies I'm playing with. Um, here are author here are authorities I'm a member of. Authorities is a feature. Uh, that helps people to um, collaborate on vocabularies. Uh, each vocabulary can, can belong to an authority and the users can belong to this authority that work on uh, the particular set of vocabularies. Um, you can subscribe to Pro Membership. Um, there's the plants and uh, um, I hope to see you uh, using Unilexicon uh, very soon. If you have any questions, here's my email address, or you can hit me up at uh, hi at unilexicon.com. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing you um, and uh, see some of your vocabularies. <laughs>